The meaning of life. Well, that's the question that has been going through people's minds for decades, centuries, eons. I am reading right now, apart from my morning class on Think and Grow Rich, I'm also reading Conversations with God. I felt compelled to pick up the book again, and I'm so glad I did. I bought it uh, 12 or 14 years ago, and I read it once, and I put it away, and I wasn't ready. But now, oh boy, it all, it all, I'm in a different place, and it, it, it feels so good. So what I'm learning, one of the things that I have gathered from what has been written down there is that the purpose of life is to remember who we are. We're part of a deathless soul or a, an offspring of a deathless soul, as James Allen said in the early 20th century. We are part of the whole of God, of, of creation. We are creators. So with that in mind, when we look at what we create in our life, that's what we are here to experience. We are here to experience who we are or who we are not. That's the contrast. Who we are or who we are not in any given situation that we create for ourselves. Be it good, be it bad. This has been puzzling me for quite some time. Like Abraham Hicks says, feel the feeling. And if you don't like the feeling, reach for a better feeling thought. So... The way I'm interpreting that now, and I've discussed this with a friend who has been on this path for some, I don't know what, 40, 50 years, and she's been helping people with this for over 37 years. Observe. Pull yourself out. When you feel something coming up, quickly stop and observe your feeling. What is your feeling? Now, do you get angry or do you get very passionate? Observe your feeling. Your feelings take a lot of energy. You need your feelings, of course. Feelings are emotions, it's energy, emotion. That's what we are. We are energy, emotion. However, how much of the emotion do you allow to take over in your life? So observe yourself. Look at the feeling that's coming up and say, hmm, isn't that interesting? That I react, respond, in such a way to this situation that I've created to be my life's experience, because that's all it is. You're just creating experiences. Life is nothing but a whole chain of experiences. That is what your soul is gathering, experiences. Your soul is gathering experiences. Your mind is actually your ego. And then you have your body, of course, and you have a spirit also, which is your God connection complex? No, not really. When you read about it enough, you will begin to understand it. But what I'm understanding now is that it is vitally important. What I've heard over the last, oh, I've been on this path maybe for 20 years now, and truly on the path and getting more and more intense on the path, your feelings, your emotions, be aware of them and ask yourself if that's the kind of emotion that you want in a certain situation. Do you want to play the drama queen? You want to play the over-the-top, enthusiastic, phony, happy person? So observe. One of my previous mentors, Jeffrey Combs, said, My highs are low, my low are highs. I'm in perfect balance. In other words, control. Don't let it shoot out one way and shoot out the other way down. It takes a hell of a lot of emotion to bring yourself back into balance. That's just a tip I wanted to give you today. Observe how you react, how you respond. Responding is what we humans do. React is what an animal do, does, fight or flight. So observe yourself. Nothing wrong, nothing right. Just observe yourself and ask yourself, is this who I want to be in this moment, in this experience? You know what? It opens up a whole different dimension to life. I am so thrilled about it. I learned a lot of this in Conversations with God, book number one. Enjoy.